I had no plans to make this program, but this week on the internet, and especially in gardening groups, I've seen so much misinformation about using wood chips and sawdust in the garden. I just felt compelled to make this video and set you straight. Oh, by the way, uh, did you notice my new artwork here? Yeah, we reached 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you very much. So the comments I'm seeing are, go like this. Uh, don't use wood chips in the garden. They make your soil acidic. One person wrote, the wood chips from a fir tree make your soil acidic, but pine and spruce are okay. Just a minute. Other people say pine and spruce needles acidify your soil. And of course, that is a myth. Don't use sawdust in the garden. It acidifies soil. Don't use wood chips because they deplete the nitrogen and your plants don't grow well. And then there's lots of questions. Can you compost wood chips? Do they have to sit around for a couple months to age? Can you use them fresh? What about sawdust? Can you use that as a mulch? Then there's also a concern about diseases. If I get wood chips from a tree that was diseased and I bring it to my garden, will my trees get that disease? So in this program, we're going to look at all of those. I'll give you fairly brief answers so that you'll know exactly when and if and how you should use wood chips and sawdust in the garden. Let's start with the issue of pH. Acidifying soil is difficult, and there's not much in wood chips or sawdust that will acidify that soil. Neither one is going to change the pH of your soil in any significant amount. Don't worry about it. How about robbing nitrogen? Why is that a concern? Well, if you've had a look at my book, compost science for gardeners, I go in great depth explaining what the CN ratio is. That's the amount of carbon to nitrogen. There's even a table with a whole bunch of different ingredients that gardeners use and it gives you the CN ratio. And that's important for you to know. Wood has a very high CN ratio. What that means is that it has a lot of carbon and very little nitrogen. When microbes come along to decompose that wood, there isn't enough nitrogen for them to do that. So they have to go and get nitrogen somewhere else. And where do they get it from? Well, they get it from the soil that's touching the piece of wood. So if I take wood chips and put it down as a mulch, it does take nitrogen from the top couple millimeters of soil, but that's not where your roots are, so it won't affect plant growth. Now, if you take those same wood chips and you dig them into the soil, now it's going to take nitrogen from the soil. And if you put enough wood in there, it will remove nitrogen, which may slow down plant growth. This is why we recommend using wood chips as a mulch and not digging them into the soil. Now, what about sawdust? Well, sawdust is just wood. It's smaller particles of wood. So it also has a high carbon to nitrogen ratio. You don't want to dig that in the soil. But can you use it as a mulch? Well, you can, but it's not a very good mulch. The reason is it packs too closely together. And now rain and water from your hose can't get through to the soil. So that's why we don't recommend sawdust as a mulch. Now, if you have a small amount from a little wood project you had, that's fine, just sprinkle it around. But don't put down two or three inches of sawdust in a garden. It just won't let the water percolate into the soil. And of course, don't dig it into the soil either. Something that's been mentioned a couple times, and this is completely new to me. There are people out there who are talking about preloading the wood chips with nitrogen. And apparently there are even some commercial outfits that do that. So I guess what they do is they take the wood chips and they soak them in fertilizer. High nitrogen fertilizer. Maybe something like urea. Or homeowners will spread the fertilizer onto their wood chips. And they're doing that to compensate for the loss of nitrogen from the soil. And that sounds like a good idea, except for one problem. Nitrogen is very soluble. If it rains, that nitrogen is just going to get washed out of the wood and into the soil. Now, that's okay for the plants, but very quickly that gets washed past the plant root. And if you use too much of that, the excess nitrogen ends up in our rivers and lakes and pollutes them. I don't think this is a really good idea. Now, what about composting these wood chips? Is that something you should do? Well, you can. The problem with wood chips is that they take too long to decompose. So you build your pile, you have a bunch of green material in there, you put in some wood chips, two months later the process is done, the wood chips are still there. 
So now you have to sift them out of the rest of the material. I wouldn't compost wood chips unless you're doing a whole pile of wood chips and you figure you're going to take a couple years to do this. And then it does make sense to add some nitrogen once in a while because they won't decompose without the nitrogen. But don't mix it in with the rest of your compost. It's much better to take those wood chips and use them as a mulch in your garden. How about sawdust? Can you put that in your compost pile? Well, again, sawdust is high carbon, low nitrogen. So you're going to have to put in a lot of greens or a lot of extra nitrogen to make that compost. And even though the particles are small, it still takes time to compost. So it's going to slow down the whole composting process. It's really not the best material for your compost pile unless you have a lot of green material and you just can't find enough brown, which is rarely the case. Again, a little bit of sawdust in your compost pile, no problem. What about diseases? Can those be transmitted to your trees from wood chips that you bring into the garden? And the answer is yes, they can, but it's not a major concern. So let me explain this. There are a number of diseases that can be transmitted through the movement of wood chips. Phytophthora is one of those. Our malaria is another one. And pine wilt is another one that might be transported. You take these wood chips and they're infected with the fungus. You bring them to your garden and you place them near the trees. That fungus may spread to your healthy trees. The chances of that are really slim, but it can happen. When we put wood chips on the ground, particularly as a mulch, all kinds of healthy fungi come in and they start digesting that wood. And those fungi attack the pathogen. So pathogens have a really hard time growing in wood chips. But if they're touching your tree and your tree happens to be damaged, there is a chance for spread. So what do you do about that? Well, personally, I don't worry about it. I don't care where my wood chips come from. I still use them. If I'm putting them around a tree and I have some concerns, well, keep them a couple inches away from the tree. The fungi aren't going to jump over a couple inches to your tree. So I don't think it's a big concern, but it could happen. What about wood chips from different species of trees? I've talked to some arborists and asked them to bring me some wood chips, and they said, oh, oh, you wouldn't want the ones we're collecting today because they come from evergreens, for example. Or they might be doing a walnut tree, and they say, you don't want walnut in your garden. Why? I don't really care what kind of wood chips they are. It makes no difference to your garden. Evergreens, pines, walnuts, I don't care. Bring them to my garden. Evergreens aren't a problem anyways. I think people are concerned about this acidity of those again, which is a non-issue. It's a myth. Walnuts have a chemical in them called juglone, and that can prevent other plants from growing well. But that affects mostly seedlings. And to be honest with you, most of those studies have been done in the lab. When people go out in the field and look under real walnut trees, they have a hard time seeing the effect of these chemicals. But don't worry about it. If you can get free wood chips, grab them. So some people recommend using wood chips to increase the fungal content of your soil. There are some people out there who are promoting this idea that if you have more fungus in your soil, plants will be healthier. You might have heard about mycorrhizal fungi. We want more of those to keep our plants healthy. Well, this idea that you have to bring them in and grow them and you need more in the soil, most of that is nonsense. If you take care of your soil, you will grow the fungi you already have. You don't have to worry about the ratio of fungi to bacteria. That's another myth that's floating around. Wood chip mulch is great for the garden, and it does increase fungal growth. But use it because you need a good mulch, not because you want to increase fungal growth. How about aging these wood chips? I've had lots of people say, never use them fresh. If you get fresh chips from an arborist, let them sit for a couple months to age. I don't know why you would do that. There's no reason for it. I'm sure some people believe in certain myths about them, but it makes no difference. When I get fresh wood chips, they chop them in the morning, they deliver them at night, the next day I'm spreading them on the garden. There's green material in there, there's leaves in there, there's some pine needles depending on the tree they were cutting. That's fine. Just put it all on your garden. It makes no difference. You don't have to age wood chips. What about the sawdust? Uh, is this something you really should be using in the garden? Well, to be honest with you, based on the things I've already told you, 
it's not really the greatest thing to add to your garden. Now, it does add organic matter to the soil. If you have very heavy clay soil, sawdust will loosen it up, so there is some benefit. So don't throw it in the garbage. Use it in the garden if you have it. But I wouldn't buy it, and I certainly wouldn't chase around the neighborhood for it. If you happen to have some access to it, Great. Bring it to the garden, spread it around, half inch everywhere, won't make any difference, and long term it will help the soil. So let's summarize. Wood chips are great for the garden. I use them mostly in my ornamental beds. I prefer straw in my vegetable beds because I don't want the wood dug into the soil. And in the vegetable bed, I tend to move soil around a little more than in an ornamental garden. But if you happen to have a lot of wood chips, you it's okay to use them in your vegetable bed. Just move them aside as you're planting. Put them back later once the plants are a little larger. Don't dig wood chips into the soil. Keep them on top. I wouldn't bother composting them unless I had a huge amount and all my beds are completely mulched and I have some left over. Well, I might throw that into a compost pile. More than likely on my property, because I have a lot of space, I will just make a special pile for excess wood chips. So if I need them somewhere, they're available. My final message is, don't believe all the nonsense on the internet. So many people are spreading rumors and myths. It just boggles my mind where they get all this nonsense. If you'd like to know more about acidifying your soil, have a look at this video here. And if you think cardboard is a good way to mulch, have a look at this video over here. Happy gardening.